Morning everyone, Nicola Russell here. Remembrance Into The Light is this YouTube channel um, in this now moment. Um, I just want to come in and just sort of really connect with my inner guidance and then give you um, some information that may come through. So we'll see what we're gonna get. Um, I hope that you're all well. Um, and uh, and this is coming from my heart for the greater good of all. Okay, thank you. That, that one moka wa si secure word in moka wa e kor en o ka wa sha un moko a wa sha na ki eta e loka wa to u sho ba yi ki ata ana ye sha sometimes we feel that we cannot voice our opinions that's your mo kra si ki ana mo kora si it comes from a place of disempowerment that ki mo ka wa sha na ma ki a suppression of the voice ah ki su ba ko ko e sha mo ra an a wa sha un moko a wa sha a learnt behaviour and a belief system of a programmed mind. Thank you. Yeah, so ba wa ko en to ka o e so board en e ki ata alo ka o so ba we sha. And when you start to come through with your truth, you have a sense of um, an analysis of the experience of like, oh, should I have said that that? This is a process of empowerment, of coming into your truth. A sense of confusion may hit you, but that is only the breaking down of old systems. The more you speak your truth, the more it will flow from your lips. It is adjustments of the heart that enables the truth to flow from the lips an upper reaction flow upwards up to the universe. It is a, a, a journey, a stop off before you actually reach the top to connect. It is a journey through the throat, through communication, through the inner knowing and then upwards to the um, to the I am presence. Never thought about that way, it's like a journey, like a road, isn't it? And adversity from the heart as it goes down into physicality, it moves through the power of self and then into the emotional states and it allows it to all ground through that rooted system into down into the feet, into physicality itself, into the world of the, the physical, the realm of, of beingness here in this physical body. So it is coming from the heart that sends you into both directions, both alleyways of communication and that of beingness, allows you to be abundant with flow and grace. And with the expansion out into connecting with others, enables you to push out your energy to affect and respond from other people's energy. Thank you. That got about so the back on our show. Yeah, to support that the Shana Kia Daisha Ebo Kore Siana E. Or like I wish your by Woksha. It is key to hold your strength within yourself and not be affected by other people's ripples of emotional states. That's your Marco, that's his second Makia, Sisa Bakura Visia Makia, Tore Shana Makia. Because with the outer rim of that energetic field, you could create a sense of resistance. It is not coming from a place of fear, but it's coming from a place of strength. And as your strength hits the weakness of others, it enables you to dissipate and to allow those to surrender to the process of their own inner strength coming forward as it rises up through the throating communication and down into physicality. That's your bawisha. And then you create that sense of um, a big ball of energy moving through the universe and creating that sense of empowerment of yourself and self-realizations and the mindset to surrender to the process of your co-creator self. And having the conviction of what to say is from your heart. 
and as it travels up in your co-creative manifestation you are now able others to hear what you've got to say and it's whether it falls upon the ears of people that want to hear or whether it falls upon the people of how it actually creates an emotional response and with that response it's up to them to move that energy out of themselves it is not your journey to um take responsibility for what is set it is a reactionary effect that they are experiencing and it is not your energetic um, transference that has created it it is something within themselves that needs to go da kia ma ho sho ba we shan e ku kam bo ka we tan ba we ka ma we shan a a as you work yourself through the turbulence of life, through the rock and all of the stream of energy that may pass you, you come to a place of calmness and pass the stream of light of the turbulence that may uh, circle your energetic field in certain circumstances and experiences. But as you rise past all of that debris that is around you out of other people's energetic fields, it comes to a place of strength within yourself to enable yourself to be in that ease and in that grace and in that sense of calmness and peace. That's your part one part ko awe shana kieto. And when you push through those boundaries and barriers and all of those emotional states, you can come in center into that beingness of self, into those deep realizations of seeing how far you have grown. And it is then coming into your power that you can glow. It's coming from a place of empowerment. We can be guided, absolutely guided, but it is our absolute focus that gives us our experience. From outward sources of information, we can download and use our discernment to see whether that sits with us or not. But ultimately, you hold your decision making to enable you to experience in that now moment what you want to experience. That's your magukrata desha. But when you're coming from a place of heart and that of strength, it gives you the highest timeline. It gives you the highest probability of the trajectory of experience. No matter what you um, portray outwardly, it is the inner world that is paramount for the experience of the outer world. So you have to do your inner work to move through all of those rocks and the stream of energy that may flash by you. To enable you to come through that sense of trauma and chaos but that's okay because you have to keep pushing through and there will be another barrier and a boundary of all this chaos to enable you to move through yet again and this is the experience if our experience was just of pure bliss every single day it would be really very boring <laughs> 
So mix it up a bit. The higher self will bring you the experiences through. It is full of tests, not in a bad way, but for the growth of your soul to enable you to move in towards your light and remember who you are. It is that journey that is so powerful. The only thing that drags you back is your mind. Your mind will overthink things. Your mind will overcomplicate. Your mind invokes emotional states. So embrace the mind, upgrade the mind. Allow the human mind, the ego, to settle, to contemplate, to upgrade. And then it will join itself in the oneness of itself as a co-creator not in separation from all that you are, from all your multidimensional aspects or your higher self, you become everything. It is not in separation. The ego blends with your higher self. Your ego blends with your multidimensionality. Your human upgrades. And this is where you experience this reality as a co-creator, a sense of empowerment, not relying on anything outside of yourself because you hold everything you need. Da, da wo shum po kran ta e shumo ko kran ta e sham ayo ko ba buam ba ka wo shan bo da da shan na kiata. It's a navigation between this and that that is the experience, that is the lesson. Embrace them. Okay. Da. Ba, shuma wesh. Oh, I love that one. I'm going to watch that one again. Yeah. Amazing, love it. Okay, hope you're all well. Hope you're really all well. Um, and that you're growing and learning and seeing and being and observing it's the only way forward but it is the only way forward for me anyway we all have choices if you want to keep in cycles that's fine too it just keeps relearning those lessons eventually you'll get to that stage where you're just moving forward into remembrance into your light okay <laughs> So check out all of those details below as normal, as I normally say, if you're new to my channel, just check those out. I have online courses for you that are nice, easily to download on starcg.com. I also have mentoring um, sessions to sort of help you, guide you through the process to facilitate your healing also and releasing any deep, dark blocks. I'm here, I'm a service. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. It just helps build the um, channel so that I can reach other people to enable myself to go out there and um, help others. So, enjoy your day and uh, take care and I'll see you soon. Okay, take care, bye.